There are places in Nigeria you probably may not know they exist. Maybe because the name doesn't sound interesting to you or you are totally unaware. If you ever heard about the Garden of Eden in the Bible, this is the place. In fact, there is a particular fruit in this place that after you eat it, any other thing you eat or chew afterward will taste sweet, even a bitter leaf. Welcome to the headquarters of the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA. For most people, when they hear IITA, they think of IITA as just a farm or some laboratory. But I tell you, IITA is more than just a farm and a laboratory. It's a home for people who love nature and want to interact with it. Briefly, the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, is a non-profit organization.
and its headquarter was founded in 1967 in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. The IITA headquarter is estimated to sit on about 1,000 hectares of land that include a 300 hectares forest reserve that preserves some of the region's indigenous flora and fauna, including unique butterfly, bird, and tree species. The 1,000 hectares headquarter is securely fenced to prevent any form of unauthorized trespass into the facility, making the headquarter a very safe place to live and work freely without any form of fear. And just for clarification, the purpose of this video is not to talk or discuss what IITA does, as this channel is only interested in nature. Please, if you want to know more about IITA, you can visit their website at www.iita.org. Thank you. Just like I said earlier that IITA is more than just a farm or a laboratory, there are various facilities that are built inside the 1000 hectares headquarters. Among them are residential buildings for staff and accommodation building for the guests. houses are built in a natural settings and the volume built for every space of the house are separated from each other through pathways which have plants, flowers and trees. A 
and the transparent approach through the use of glass throughout the building provide views of the forest so users can constantly feel the presence of nature and interact with it. Also, inside the IITA, there are a range of hospitality, leisure, and recreational facilities, including a swimming pool, tennis courts, golf courts, squash courts, basketball courts, football field, gym center, and nature reserve area for trekking and interacting with nature. All these are made available for both residential and non-residential staffs, including their guests. There are also clinic and preparatory school inside IITA, though I believe the school and the clinic are only for the staff. The headquarters also has about nine natural lakes, each at different locations.
inhabited animals are left to live freely in their natural life without any form of restrictions or attack on them. And this made us not to see any animal as we tore the forest. Naturally, animals tend to move away when they hear noise from humans. And the people tolling the forest with me was making hell of noise. So in conclusion, IITA is a very good place to be if you are a lover of nature, though I recommend you go with a bicycle as storing a 1000 hectares of land is not a joke. I myself wasn't able to tour the entire place for two days before I left for my next adventure which I'm going to put in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Thank you.